Hello guys and gals, me and Mutahar, and uh, welcome to a very rare sort of video that I do, but it's only here when uh, the passion really gets fired within me, and it's an IRL creepypasta. What is an IRL creepypasta? It's a real life creepypasta, yes. Now before we begin, this is uh, written from the you know, esteemed author's perspective, so that being said, let's dive right in, so <clears throat> I have to get into the IRL creepypasta voice, so bear with me. And don't cut off your ears within the first five seconds. Let's go. <clears throat> I was busy on the internet writing a creepypasta called Isoi. Isoi is Yoshi backwards. When I finished it, I felt great. But what happened afterwards was my doorbell rang. I went to my doorbell and found out the local kids were ringing my bell. So I sat in the corner and waited until they did it again. When they did it, I heard one of the kids yell, dried up cunt. So I opened the door and got the kid, and I told him don't say naughty words, and he was scared. So I decided to take the kid to their parent. The only thing that was scarier was I found out their parent was even shittier. Oh no! Ah, blood everywhere, hyperrealism. <clears throat> that was a uh, cream pasta. It's an IRL one. It, it actually happened. Um, well, for the most part, let's just excuse the hyperrealism for a second, but that being said, let's dive uh, right into our analysis. No, it's not fucking real, it's my sarcasm kicking in. But, what recently happened, I posted this on uh, Facebook, uh, as uh, something that happened uh, this week, and, uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta actually say something here. Um, this, this actually is one of the things that come up with me. This was uh, originally a rant time topic that I had to follow up, because, you know, people have been messaging me about games are getting violent. Um, something about, you know, one, one person messaged me, I'm not going to throw out any names, but they said the Manhunt playthroughs that I've done, you know, they're promoting violence to kids, and kids can watch them, and, you know, that's why for a time I had, like, a disclaimer that was running at the beginning of the video that said you need to be 18 or older to watch this, because I had a lot of moms, and I had, like, a lot of fucking, you know, people complaining. You know, not a lot of people, but, you know, the most, like, vocal of the bunch, telling me that I shouldn't be playing games that are violent because kids can see them. So, you know, I thought on this issue for a bit. But what happened to me a couple days ago was a child rang the bell, okay? Now, I'm not saying that I'm getting mad at kids ringing my doorbell, it happens. It happened during the Mario playthrough, um, you know, if you notice in the middle I had to cut it and come back in a jacket because I chased one of the kids. Um, you know, but kids ring your doorbell, whatever, shit happens. We're all kids, we all did that. It's nothing to get mad. If you get mad about that, man, you really need to fucking, you know, loosen up. But what ticked me off was when the kid who rang the bell was one of them. Um, cause you know, not, there's not like a fucking gang of kids that goes up to a doorbell. It's like, oh man, I don't know, should we push the button? I don't know what's gonna happen. No, no, that's, that's fucking stupid. But, uh, they called me dried up cunt. Well, he, he called me dried up cunt, not they, but the child called me dried up cunt. And you know, when I opened the door, the kid, the kid was scared cause he didn't think I was hiding behind it, you know, like some fucking watchdog shit. But I was like, no, I'm, I'm hiding behind it. Yeah, you know, because that's how I roll. So the kid shit his pants first off, okay? Like, he's like, oh shit, now I'm fucked. So I tell the kid, hey, all right, it's not right, so we're going to go to your mom, and I'm going to tell her exactly what you did. So, again, some people said not to do that because I'm scarring the child. No, 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 no. See, that's what happens when you teach people right from wrong. See, so let me finish up. I go to this fucking mom. Okay, and she's, she's, she's just like outside by her fucking car, and I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, kid rang my bell. And she's like, so what? In this like aggressive tone, and I'm like, nothing, he just also called me a dried up cunt. And she got all defensive, like, my kid would never do that, and I'm like, no, 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 he did, he did, he, he really did, trust me, you know, Tr trust, trust, okay, he, he, do he does it. And she got really defensive, like, I was in the wrong, and then she said, you probably deserved it. And then I was like, you know, woman, okay, I know you might be pissed, but no need to take it out on me. And she's, and then eventually we get into this fucking pissing contest with each other where, you know, I just tell her to become a better fucking parent once and for all. And she tells me, well, when you have kids, you learn. You know how hard it is. What kind of fucking excuse is that? What? what? Excuse me? So what? What? Okay, okay. To learn how bad it is getting shot, I should shoot myself in the fucking arm to know how I feel? No, oh, we're not gonna do that again. That's a dumb idea. No! Okay? Alright, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. See, when people say gaming ruins kids, or violent media ruins children, or watching porn ruins children... No, no, no. See, 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 here's how it works. 
Okay, when I was a fucking kid, I grew up with, you know, older kids, you know, family friends. Uh, they listened to shit like NWA, a lot of, you know, 90s hip-hop rap music, and music in general, where they had a lot of cursing in it. Um, you know, I heard things like the F word, fuck, bitch, you know, all those words. And, you know, I said them as a kid, because I didn't fucking know what it was. I was like, oh, fuck, you know, was, oh, fuck. And my dad was like, oh, where did you learn that word? And I was like, oh, well, they were listening to this song. And, you know, my dad picked it up. He told me it's a bad word and not to say it. And you know what? That's when I realized at the age of seven, age of seven, age of seven, that it's a bad word. And you know what my dad did that this woman didn't do? He, he was being a fucking parent. See, here's a problem. This is why kids are, this is why the generation was labeled shitty, by the way, uh, is because these kids really don't know right from wrong. See, if you want to fucking make sure kids grow up right, do your fucking job as a parent, okay? All right, I know that sex is great, but if you don't want to have kids, if you don't want to deal with raising kids, because let me tell you something, raising kids is a fucking challenge, all right? It really is. Then be a fucking parent, all right? If you don't want to raise them, buy a pack of condoms, get it. They're not fucking ridiculously expensive, by the way, contrary to popular belief. Just don't get the fucking, you know, shopper bag kind. All right, you don't need to, you, you don't, fuck, man, like, d get contraceptives, do something, okay? If you don't fucking want to raise kids, do not raise them. This is why the generation is labeled fucking shitty, is because parents don't know how to do their job now. This woman snapped at me for telling her, you know, that this is what the kid said. Instead of getting defensive, learn to fucking tell the kid right from wrong. All she had to do was say, hey, Billy, I don't know if the kid's name was Billy, you know, let's fucking call it Tom, all right? Get, get some, you know. Tom perspective going on here, Nina. Bullshit creep last time. But anyways, the fucking thing about it was when you're dealing with a kid, all she had to do was tell him cunt is a bad word. You shouldn't have said it. And, you know, I didn't even need an apology or anything. That's all I needed is for her to do her job. But no, she gets all defensive like it's my fucking problem. Well, you know what, lady? Okay, so you continue down that, that path, then, you know, social services might, you know, kick in once in a while. I don't know. All right, but that shit is wrong. All right, and this might sound like venting, but it's a legitimate thing. All right, there's a lot of, I mean, you go on any fucking online game on the Xbox or PlayStation Network, and you, you go onto a really popular online, like a fucking Call of Duty, Call of Duty, okay? Let's just fucking use that as an example. You go onto a playlist, and you'll probably hear little kids, and they'll probably cuss at the top of their lungs. I met kids that are racist as hell, misogynistic, and honestly, I don't really think it's their fault. It's the parents' fault. See. Even if they're learning from video games, like, for example, if I had a kid and I told him, you know, fucking play Grand Theft Auto V, and they sat over there, they learned everything from Grand Theft Auto V, and I wasn't there to tell them, hey, stealing cars is wrong, shooting people is wrong, doing prostitutes can probably get you herpes. In fact, most likely it will get you herpes, maybe some chlamydia. You might even be lucky enough to get some gonorrhea, I don't know. Okay? Then they're gonna think it's right! But... If I do my fucking job as a dad and tell them, hey, that's wrong, then guess what? They're not going to be shitty kids. There's the moral of the story. Do your fucking job. All right, that's all you got to do. Fucking people these days, man. Damn. But yeah, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe, and share some of your stories with our generation. Tell me some of your takes, you know? This is just as much as your story. And please rate that creepy pass in the beginning. Tell me what you thought about it. Tell me what you would rate it. Tell me what you'd change to make it better. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.